All right, welcome back fishing friends. I'm back out here at this little lake up by Gainesville. Just pitching the whopper plopper. Throwing uh, uh, the Kalins out there. We're gonna see what we can catch today. And it is nice and calm out here. Hopefully we'll get some good action today. What did I catch a stick already? Woohoo! All right, guys, but that's the plan for today. I can already see some gar out there. I don't know about bass, but I see the gar. Anyway, we'll give it a few hours out here and we'll see what we get. Oh! Man, I hit a hit right there. What was that? Did you guys see that? Boom! Man, they popped it. How could it not stick with the two treble hooks? Alright, we're going back in there. See what we got here. Oh man, it's a nice little bass. Popped in good, he's hooked in two spots. All right, nice. Looks good, looks good. Nice fish, all right, so we got one so far. All right, let's keep it going. Again, I had one take a swipe at it. Come on, this thing is nothing but hooks. How are not hooking them?
All right, guys, I'm switching over to uh, the Kalins. We're going to give it a shot, see what we can get. Something jumped out there. All right, guys, I'm testing out my new Speed Spin 300 from Luz. That casking I had, I just went ahead and retired it. I don't know, I may use it again, but I just love using Luz reels. Felt a pop there. There's one. There's one. Oh, it's a nice little little bass man. He he wanted it. He came up and hammered it. Check that out on the Kalins. Nice. That's a little fella, but it's still a fun catch. Maybe that's who was flopping over here on the surface. All right, let's keep it going. One thing I noticed with the Kalins, it does a lot better if you go real slow. I don't know why that is, but... Ooh, I had something following right there. I just have always had better luck with it doing it like that. And all you gotta do is just stop reeling, and when she sinks down, she attracts a lot of attention. Man, that airplane, whoo! Sounds like it's uh, struggling a little bit. Yeah, if you have a slow retrieve with this and then you stop, man, when it dips down a little bit, it looks fantastic. Super juicy. All right guys, we're out here on the dock, still throwing the plopper, seeing what we're gonna get. It's like these bass patrol along the shoreline, they're back and forth, back and forth. So I'm just kind of running it through there. 
over here at this point too. There was one time I was fishing this. I got a huge bluegill right off the point here. Nothing today. All right, let's go back to our cove over here. I've caught some big, big fish out of there. I caught a nice rock bass one time too. It was pretty cool. Man, that looks good in the water. Do I have one? I had a hit. No, we got off. What on earth? No. It must have been a little one. Man, something tugged at it, took it down, and that was all she wrote. I don't see how, with two treble hooks, how that happens. You know what it might have been is some, looks like some weeds are over there. The weeds could have got hung up on it and pulled it down. Hmm. Very interesting. Oops, I had to short arm that one. I almost landed it right on the rail. So we've had quite a bit of rain here, so I can tell the water's up from that cold front that hit the country. So it rained pretty good up here. Gainesville's right on the border with uh, Oklahoma, it's where everybody goes to in Oklahoma to that Windstar Casino. The thing is monstrous with all the entrances on named after the various capitals and big cities in Europe. You have the London entrance, the Madrid entrance, Paris and so forth. Keep throwing her out here and see what we can get. All right, guys, take a look at this. This is on my line. It didn't even hit the hook, it hit the line. 
check out this little guy. I don't know if it's like a little gar or what. It's got like a little needle nose. Man, it is dinky. I'm gonna get him back in the water though. Maybe some kind of shad or some little minnow. There he goes. Back in. All right. He struggled there for a bit, but he's swimming now. Weird. All right, guys. I got one. Right in that spot. And not too bad. All right, let me take care of this and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, there she is right there. Not a bad fish. Right in that little spot. All right, here she goes. All right, let's keep on fishing. I think I got one, guys. Yep, in that same spot. What is this? A rock bass? What on earth? Oh my gosh, it is a rock bass. Check out that beauty. Nice. All right, let me take care of him and then I'll get back to you. All right, guys, here's the catch. Gonna go ahead and turn her loose. That's pretty nice right there for rock bass. Man, it's good sized. All right, here she goes. Down and away. All right. A couple more casts and I gotta head out for the day. But uh, anyway, let's give it a go. All right, guys, I'm switching to the bone colored one. Throwing it along that shoreline over there we'll see what we get oh, what was that weeds maybe Yeah, I saw a great video by a guy, and I can't recall his name, but he was doing a comparison between the Amazon Chinese Whopper Plopper knockoffs. <laughs> They're like $3 or something a piece or 5 bucks. And it came out that it was pretty much a tie between the two lures, between the original Whopper Plopper and those knockoffs, but he gave the edge to the Whopper Plopper. And I kind of agree with him there. I wish I could link that video for you, but I can't even remember where, who it was. It was just going through one of those ones that pops up in your feed on YouTube. Anyway, so, cause I, I mean, I've seen them, but I always try to go with the original and I don't mind shelling out the money for them. You know, it's fishing's a good hobby for me. So I don't mind, you know, buying them. They're, you know, anywhere between what, 13, 10, 12, 13 bucks all the way up, depending on the size. I don't mind doing that. And these are just like between these and maps they're just my favorite lures maps for just about anything under the surface and I mean they have some you know top water stuff but these and the and the maps are just my go-to's and the Kalins but I've caught a lot of fish on the maps big fish on all sizes of them too. I've even caught a 
long nose gar on a size zero. There's a pretty big fish. Ooh, something popped over there. What on earth was that? I gotta try to get it in there without getting into the tree is the thing. Today's a great day because the water's like glass. When it's windy out here, it can be kind of tricky. All right, guys, I'm going to switch to this little shad pattern color here. I can't remember what this thing is called. Some kind of ghost smoke looking thing. But uh, going to give it a toss and see what we get. It's a 75, kind of like that perch one I was using. lot of activity along that bank over there so hoping I can get another one Yeah, I think it's weeds that I hit in there and it pulls it down when I start cranking. Yeah, because she's coming back all oblonged. Yep, there was like a piece of grass or leaf on there. Let's see if I can get it just in front.
All right, guys, a couple more casts, <laughs> and I gotta head out of here. I said that about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just throwing along the rocks here, seeing if anything's home. Still using that little shad color. I haven't seen any of the gar up today. I think, well, maybe one I saw, but they hadn't been up, up and about like they usually are. I'm gonna fire a couple times into the bank over there where I cut those other ones and then I'll wrap it up. Perfect spot. Nothing was home. Try to get it over there by that tree that's in the water. We'll see. There we go. Well, a couple feet away, but that's close enough. It's a gorgeous day to be out here. It's not too hot. Not a lot of wind. And it almost gives you that fall feeling. Like we're actually getting to fall. Down here in Texas, though, you can... Like when I was in Amarillo, you can have a snowstorm. Be in the 30s two days later. Be up in the 80s again. Now here in the Metroplex, eh, you don't get it that much, but... I mean, if you get a nice cool down, whew... We gotta take advantage of it. What on earth is that? Right there in front of me. That looked like a crappie. That was a crappie. Trying to pop a bug on the surface. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Until next time, have a good time out there fishing. Get out there, enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>